Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new weekly writing vlog. We're gonna make this intro short and sweet. If you've missed it, this will be my third week in a row doing these. I've basically just been updating you on my writing progress. We're working on Gracie's book, which is gonna be my 11th book. We're in the middle of the rough draft. I'll have everything you could possibly want linked down below in the description. And then the only other thing of note before we jump into the vlog is this video is being sponsored by Dossier. So huge shout out to them. Dossier is a fragrance company I've been working with for a few years now. They've been a really fun addition to my writing routine. I pick one of their perfumes for each of my projects and I'm like always wearing it when I'm working on it. And I've developed this sort of scent association thing to it. And I also just genuinely really love their perfumes. They make dupes for luxury scents at a much more affordable cost. They're clean, cruelty-free, vegan. The scent for the book that we're currently working on is Powdery Peach. It's a nice little element that I've added because I'm working on a book that's like a very summer book, like summer vibes and everything. And this perfume just like gives me that vibe, which I desperately need with like the cloudy, rainy, cold winter weather going on right now. It's not really, the vibes don't quite match. This helps. I'll have them linked down below in the description if you wanna check them out. Make sure to use my code to get a discount and save some money. And without further ado, let's get into the rest of the vlog. So today's Friday, January 19th. And to be perfectly honest, we could be, we could be doing better with the writing. We could be trying harder. <laughs> the past couple of days haven't been terrible, but it's been a little slow going. Today so far we've written about 300. Yesterday I wrote about a thousand. The day before that I wrote 300. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's not like I'm in, it's not like I'm stuck. I just had a hard time like getting into the zone the past couple of days. I've been really distracted. I've had a lot of other things going on. So today's Friday. I'm hoping this weekend I'll be able to dive into it a little bit more. If I could just like have a day where I pretty much just write all day and I just focus on it all day, I can usually get into the zone that way and knock out a couple thousand words. So that's kind of my hope. We're chugging along slow and steady. We're almost at 50k, which is exciting. Hopefully the next time I update you, we'll have gotten a little more momentum back. Hi, today is Monday, January 22nd. Um, I have not written a word since the last update. I haven't even worked on it at all. I haven't looked at it. Nothing. Plans for the weekend, nothing. But that all changes today. We're gonna get some stuff done today. It's already the afternoon. It's been a rough morning. As you can see behind me, I finally got some more books in for the Kickstarter. So I've been wrapping a ton of them. I don't know if you can see the huge like piles on the back counter. I'm working on it. That's been going well. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what we can get done. I'm gonna try and force a couple of sprints and see if we can break out of this like meh feeling and like get in a groove. If not, we'll just get like a decent number of words for the day and try again tomorrow. But we're gonna at least try today. Okay, so that's better than nothing. Definitely not in the zone, definitely just going through the motions, but we finished the chapter, so I'll take it. It's Tuesday, January 23rd. Clearly it's at night. And after all of the updates of me being like, I'm not stuck. I don't know why I'm having trouble. I'm not stuck. I am. I am stuck. <laughs> but we're, we're working on it. We're brainstorming. The problem is we had, we got to the moment, the moment that I was like, talking about in previous vlogs and now we're in the like fun and games kind of section and i know like a couple of things that need to happen in here and then i know the climax and basically everything that happens after that so this like little period between we're past the midpoint between that and the climax i basically am like listing out all of the things that i have introduced so far all of the subplots all of the little conflicts and like things, I just need to like weave all of these threads in a little bit more before we hit that climax. So I know all the things I need to do, but I don't know exactly how I want to accomplish them, like what scene I want these things to occur in. It makes sense that I'm a little bit stuck because um, I could jump ahead and write the scenes that I know are gonna happen, but I would rather write this chronologically because then I can like refer, I need the context to be able to write some of these scenes. And I don't quite know the context yet because I haven't figured out how all these threads are gonna weave together. Does that make sense? Oh, my mom's calling. Hold on. I have completely forgotten about what we were talking about. Brainstorming. Gotta figure some things out before we continue on. And I think part of the problem is I need to like reread the last like 10 chapters or so to kind of refresh my memory about everything that's been going on. Anyway, it was like the first sunny day we've had in a while. So I spent all day spraying books. I don't know if you can see all of them on the table. So that was what we've been doing all day. I was gonna try and get a little bit of writing done tonight 
it's not looking like it's gonna turn out. We're just gonna brainstorm and that's okay. Had a really rough couple of days, so I'm trying to be nice to myself. I'm just now realizing how short this vlog is because the vlog for Patreon or Vlog Club one ended up being kind of long this month and I put a lot into that that I kind of mixed up and thought was in here. So anyway, hi, it's Thursday, January 25th. I'm all shiny and waiting for my sunscreen to like kind of settle before I do my makeup and I'm not gonna do my hair because I am going to get my hair done today. So what's the point? So this will be the last that you see of this hair. I guess the next clip will be the reveal. Not that anyone I'm sure cares that much. I got a little bit of writing done yesterday and by a little I mean 250 words. I was in a bad mood. I was like not in a good headspace to be working on that. So I have higher hopes for today. I'm hoping my hair appointment won't take like super long, but you know, you know how it is. So depending on when we get back from that. The good news is all of the brainstorming and stuff I was doing before, I did plan out the scene that I'm going to write today. So I do know what we're gonna do. And then I also know the scene that I'll do after that. From there, I have like a couple of like scattered plot points. So I'm hoping the gaps in the middle will just become clear to me as we go. I haven't been writing as much. I've been spending the majority of my time on the Kickstarter stuff. I don't know if you can like see the mess around me. That's the priority. I'm trying to get the last of those orders out. But um, my time commitment for the end of this month and next month changed with an editing client situation. So we're gonna have a little more time for writing this month. So it's all gonna work out. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know One of the most common questions I get is how many words do I write a day on average? How many words should you write a day? What should your daily word count goal be? I would just like to use this graph as a representation that even if you write like me and you are nowhere near consistent, there is no average, no rhyme or reason to it, you will still eventually finish the book. This is going to be my 11th book. Somehow, some way, I've managed to finish and publish 10 books. You can write like this and still finish. It really was only a matter of time until we brought the bangs back. I know, I put it up in a ponytail so you can't like really see it. The cut is pretty much the same, obviously the color and the bangs. If you haven't been around for that long, I got bangs for the first time since I was like a child in 2020. And it was a moment. It was like, I loved them. They lasted for a long time. I wanna say like well over a year. And every time I thought I was gonna grow them out, I would like start to, then I would cut them again, and then I would start to, and then I would cut them again. I don't remember when I actually did grow them out, if it was like a conscious choice to, or if I just like forgot to keep up with them. Yeah, we'll see, they're cut differently than they were last time. Um, I gave like very different inspo pictures for them. I basically told her my favorite part about having bangs was like when they were growing out, and I could just like push them to the side and that like grown out kind of feel. So that was kind of what we went with. I feel like they looked better in the mirror than they do on camera. <laughs> I'm just like looking in the viewfinder, I'm like, um, and then I asked for one shade darker than my natural hair color and my hair to me looks like black So I'm hoping it kind of chills out in like a week or so when I wash it a few times So um, I want it dark not quite this dark We'll see anyway. Happy Friday. I've written about 600 words so far this morning As long as I hit a thousand honestly, I'll be happy today. It's a rainy day. Won't be able to spray any books We're just gonna we're gonna see where the day takes us one exciting thing is we're over 50k now Which I feel like is a pretty like exciting milestone. We were talking about like I have no idea how long this book is gonna end up being like the rough draft at least someone guessed 65k in the comments, which honestly I feel like it's probably a pretty good guess I don't think the finished book will be anywhere near there. I think it'll end up being a lot longer, but just for the rough draft, I I would be surprised if it was like significantly longer than that. We shall see. No.
this is real. A slip of 